We don't need no drone when we're on the top of the mountain. Let me just uh, get you one hell of a view. Or if I look a bit rough, like I said, not long been off the plane. Just give me two seconds and what you're about to see for what I'm seeing will blow your mind. When someone says that looks the absolute hammer, that looks the absolute hammer. Marisol Koi Farm. That's the hammer. You know when they say you haven't seen nothing yet? Loads of oyster shells down through here with the filtration. I haven't got my mics today at the moment, so I'm just having a little bit of a look. All the filtration under everywhere that you're walking past there is crazy. And it looks like it's just all oyster shell everywhere. Absolutely massive. Flow of water coming through is mental. Not even sure what all this is over here. It looks interesting. Don't have a clue. Complete different way altogether compared to what we do. Size of that for a pool bowl. I've got to get my mics tomorrow though for sure. First shower filter that I've seen. Probably be the only shower filter that I do see, I expect. But I'm just getting told that the heating system, just running straight through here into two coils, but the temperature inside of these rooms, coil houses, is absolutely crazy, man. So we're going into the off-limit part. Really? Yeah. Mate, look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Thank your mother for the koi, that is. That is absolutely mental. That is mental, isn't it? Unbelievable. That's one thing that never gets boring to watch. Well, you never see any fish in one pond. Never. When you're going to see the top fly, we're doing the top fly business here at the end of November. You never, ever, ever get bored of it. The amount of years I've been coming out, I never, ever get bored of it. That's the hammer that is. Quality. Check that guy out. Goes to show they're not all using the sack eye over here anyway, and it looks like they go through bags and bags of it as well. There we go, look, all locked up. Never know we just went in there. It's an absolute amazing experience coming here to start with. I've got to admit, absolute mental. Bit of an eye opener, a bit of gobsmack, really. A few mud ponds here to start with. Getting me bearings in. We just stopped at Marahide, used to be the manager at Issa Koi Farm. We've just noticed, well, 
I've just noticed that. But, um, Little yellow guys, dark hairs, <laughs> open stuff. <laughs> Will these just come out of mud ponds today, have they? I don't know, that's what I said. Some new ones, yeah. There's definitely some new ones in there. Uh, yeah, how long have they been harvested? Uh, harvest start on uh, 9. Yes. October 9. Okay. It's many and uh, other ponds, other ponds. This the high quality ones. Oh yeah. Which one's you buying, Dave? <laughs> nice, aren't they? Beautiful. Check this guy out. Check this out down here though guys, beautiful, don't want to go down there though. So got to have a quick nose in here as well while we're here just to see what it's about. I like saw the feeders on the side, not sure what all this is. Same again, all the filtration running down on the bottom. Absolutely incredible though. The way they do things over here really is an eye opener. That's proper cool as well. I like that. Check that out as well. That's the ammo right there. I like that. Obviously all been cleaned out, ready to go. That's his dog over here, look. Looks like where he does all the boxing and packing. Chilled out dog mine. Well, it didn't take long for Dave to pick out four fish. Some absolute bangers. I can see this trip being a uh, a big trip for Dave buying some banging fish. Watch this space. That's a banger right there. That is an absolute banger. I said I was going to film some different stuff. Check this out. Feeder. <laughs> get on the auto feeder. Don't think I can get one of them in my suitcase, mine. Just been told we're allowed to go into a secret location because one of the... Uh... What have we got in there? Is that the ball? Yeah, they fight, but it's against another ball. Check that out, look. Yeah. That's what you call a ball. I should go in there and touch it, shouldn't I? Being a farmer. He knows I'm a butcher. <laughs> Quality. Right, so we've just been told we're allowed to go into this little part. Just to have a look. Yeah, that's really nice. 
That is nice. As a carry one, more than any carry, let's go. Yeah. More than any, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. So there is a shower filter. Got it covered up, mine. Some absolute stonking fish here, I ain't gonna lie. Literally, we only landed in Japan this morning and we're making a full day of it today as well. We haven't slept for over, well, we're coming into like 36 hours now, we haven't slept, but yeah, we're doing a full video tomorrow and I'll have all my filming gear tomorrow. One thing I didn't expect to see in Japan was a pressure filter. <laughs> but I've seen one. What are you saying, Dave? What am I saying, James? That's the hammer! That's the hammer! <laughs> That's quality, isn't it? Yeah, Absolute lush. Really is an experience, next level. Proper eye opener. Just pond after pond everywhere. Don't want to slip down there, mine, but absolute incredible views the village just over there is Mushigami so X amount of years ago 120 150 whatever it is he obviously slowed two three meters deep they couldn't get down to there was no supermarkets down anywhere so they had carp and they used to farm them and they used to keep them under the houses so in the basements they would have like a pond where they just eat carp through the winter and they started to notice uh, a blue color I think it was blue I don't know um, and one farmer in particular bred from it, hence a saggy cane. And that's where they started breeding from. So if it wasn't for this area and this climate, koi wouldn't have existed. It's, it's because of that, it was a food fish that started developing colour. Lucky. Yeah, all the circumstances that were Yeah. Can you imagine living up here trying to trek down there to the shop or something? It's amazing, it is amazing. Well, we're certainly cramming it in on the first day, the Genji Koi Farm. Got to have a quick nose while we're here. That soap is it, yeah. I can't see that. Um, yeah, loads of soap. I thought it was koi food then for a minute. Loads of waders here, look. Hopefully they got a size to fit me. Do your boots off. Spotted a kajaku. Looks like you get a tea and a coffee, followed by a no when you're in your Genjis. Really is amazing though. Bowl up a few. We've noticed a few in here that we're thinking about having a look at. So I think these are coming back to the shop. Get all them in one box. Definitely a different experience bagging up fish from here, mine. Yeah. Nice, just the only little blemish on the back, but. A little bit messy, isn't it? It is, yeah. Don't look as nice now as that. It's harvest damage, or. Yeah, it's like, I'm not sure if that's. No, I'll leave them. Yeah, leave that one. Let's 
right, so build up a few of those fish. A few customers that's pre-ordered them, but um, absolute stunning though, being here. The experience, totally, totally buzzing about it. Yeah, this is just a bit of a tease really, because like I said, we've done hell of a lot of traveling. We haven't even got back to the hotel yet, but we had to make the most of it when you're here. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Look out now, boy. That's the absolute hammer. So one thing I wanted to add real quickly, just before we leave. So as you can see all of these fish out here, all in floating nets all with numbers and codes on i'm not sure on all of that but they're all ready to rock and roll for the customers when they get boxed and bagged up so happy days that's how they do it here i don't know how long they stay here before they uh get sold as such but yeah when a winner chicken dinner and all that lot your genji koi farm love all the koi houses the way it's all set up only thing i'm not sure on which i might ask i'm not sure why the buildings are so massive do you know what i mean from the floor to the roof that's got to be i don't know 50 foot i spec maybe it's for the heat side of things i'm not really sure because inside it just goes right up to the roof i don't know why they make the buildings so big Check that out for a koi bowl. It's like a pond man. Some cracking fish in here. To be fair, these ponds are so, so hard to pick a good fish out because every koi that you're looking at over here, what I've noticed myself, like if you put one of these fish into your pond, you'd be well made up. The quality is unbelievable. Look at this, though, all sold. All sold. I like the way that they got wooden sleepers across all of the ponds to walk across. Hopefully, when I'm here, I don't fall in. Be funny, mine. Of the size of some of these beasts what an experience this is to come and see this absolutely next level the quality of the fish here i am blown away absolutely blown away and this is my first day it's not even a full day What are you saying, Gary? Buy the whole pond? So uh, made it back to the hotel, little tour of my room, TV, pretty basic, but it's all I need because I'm basically just sleeping here. I managed to get me Remy's in though, or I call them Remy's, but I managed to get them in because I suffered the heartburn, but check that out for a key. I certainly ain't losing that one, am I? All my filming equipment's ready for tomorrow, so it'll be a lot better footage for tomorrow. Like I said, it was purely just a quick bit of filming today. We managed to cram all that in, but... Yeah, certainly feeling it, but we need to get some grub. I'm gonna go downstairs, meet the lads, and then we're gonna have some food. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, they say it's about trying stuff new. Gotta try it. Only trying some new things here. Get on that. Happy days. Get that down your neck, Dave. Mm. Lovely. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Get your eyes round that, son. That's the hammer there, boy. Look out now, boy. <laughs> Happy days. 